I'm at the Great Pyramids of Giza. When you look at the pyramids, it's almost impossible to imagine how insanely old they are. There's almost no other man-made structure that has survived over 4500 years. Hell, there were woolly mammoths still alive on earth for nearly a thousand years after these pyramids were built. As you look out across the desert and see these massive, perfectly symmetrical structures looming over the shifting dunes, looking like the remnants of a primordial volcanic eruption, it starts to feel more and more plausible that these ancient tombs were built by aliens. Because how on earth could a civilization that didn't even have iron tools build that? But what really clinches that unsettling feeling is when you actually enter the Great Pyramid. You see these colossal blocks of limestone weighing 70 tons interlocked in perfect geometric placement. The ceiling is dizzyingly high, the air is thick and humid, and the narrow passage makes it feel like the walls are closing in on you. Can you imagine the spiritual intensity those ancient Egyptians must have felt as they carried the bodies of their god kings to their final resting place? As I climbed up inside the pyramid, I was aware of the weight of these giant blocks of stone, the weight of nearly 5,000 years of history. These blocks were once carefully mined from a limestone quarry and needed hundreds of laborers to transport it to the Nile, where giant rafts made with palm trees would have been used to carry them down river, all the way to Giza. And here they've stood, weathering the sweltering desert sun and endless sandstorms. They've been pillaged, forgotten, rediscovered, and explored countless times over the years. And they'll continue to stand here for thousands of years after you and I and all of the 8 billion humans on the planet today have died and been forgotten. If those stones could talk, what stories do you think they'd have for us?